Hello and welcome to Dell's Gaming. I'm Dell and this is Kerbal Space Pro Program where our plucky Kerbalons are in their space station, uh, space center even, uh, thinking, where's anyone seen Bob? Well, Bob's not around because I stranded him a hundred kilometers up in space. Well, he's not strictly stranded, he's only stranded if I can't get him back. At the moment, he's just waiting there for us to come and have a qu quick wave by, um, give him a quick wave as we fly by at a stupid miles an hour. So we've got to build a ship to go up there, but as always, we have some new items to test at the same time. And that is, if I can find the right item, this new hitchhiker pod, which is a bit big to say the least. So what we're going to need is a, um, there's an adapter. Uh, there we go, the adapter, just like that. Now it sort of looks a little better. That looks a little better for us. So what we want to test is what it takes to land this puppy um, and get it back into atmosphere. So we don't need a heat shield, so we need the big heat shield, big heat shield. Now on our here, um, in case it's unmanned, we're going to need a, uh, a few bits before we get there. Let's see, we're going to need the reaction wheel. There's, we've got a new inline battery somewhere. There we go. And then we put the that on the top. That's cool. Um, we will need some just to be on the safe side some solar panels which we will put here just in case we get any uh, electricity problems that that way we will always have electricity for our probe uh, let's see what else do we need we need the Kerbal Engineer program we don't need four of them we only need one so we can get our data for the Kerbal Engineer we'll take a mystery goo because when we do the proper flight, we will have mystery goo containers. We've got quite a nice area here now for putting things. So um, we can put them down there and a thermometer just there and a barometric just there. So we've got two each of them. Uh, we could put a science junior, but I'm going to hold off on that for the moment. Um, we, I want to test this first part. Now, how heavy is this? Five tons. Hmm. Okay, I think that's going to need a fair bit of uh, parachute uh, effect, actually. I'm thinking it's not to be a mere two parachutes. I think I'm going to put an extra couple here as well, uh, just to be on the safe side, because I don't trust just having the single, just a one pair. We'll go for two pairs of parachutes, see if that's all right. Okay, so that's 5.5 four ton we're up to okay I'm, I'm thinking this is going to be a big ass rocket okay because previously we've done two tons so this is two and a half times the size of anything else we have put into space so far right okay for that stage we're going to need a decoupler where's our decoupler the Rocco Max there we go and below that we're going to need some fuel now um, although actually we're going to need a coupler and then we use the key to change it around adapter and then we're going to put some plenty of fuel in here for orbital maneuvers and a little terrier engine 1500 I think that's more than we need but um, if we get this right this could be used to do a MUN orbit as well so uh, we'll test it with that sort of size for the moment and see how I'd rather have a little extra at this sec at this uh, particular moment and test the um, ability for it to uh, um, do extended orbital maneuvers right let's go up a little bit higher I've got a feeling this is gonna get a bit big now right because this has got so much weight on the top we're gonna need to make this section a bit long with plenty of atmospherics atmospherics um, I think I know the word I'm looking for but I just can't think of it at the moment uh, stabilization with aerodynamics mm. or 
Five. Six. Okay, this is this is a little too long, I've got a feeling. That's gonna be so unstable. Let's just see how far away we are with this. Uh, let's put a lot of stages in there. Uh, our stages have gone some wrong somewhere here, I'm sure. Actually, let's see. That stage there, after the decouple, that's fine. And then this stage here, after that decouple, oh, no, no, okay. Uh, oh, I've got on all stages, that's why. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, it's, it's Although, this point, we need about 4,000, I reckon, at stage four. Okay, let's put some aerodynamics in. We'll use the, the deluxe winglets because uh, they, I reckon, they're going to have more stabilisation. Is that level? Is that level? Yeah, that looks level. And we're going to put some up a little higher as well. Um, how about those ones up here? Now, what if we just follow our basic design we've done before? and just make it bigger. We might need to multi-stage this though. So let's just try, first of all, where's our decouplers? We're going to need a couple of decouplers. Let's say about there. Yeah, there will do. And then we're going to need some fuel. And we're going to need a fair bit of fuel, I'm thinking here. Right. Are they, they look, are they connected? They don't look too, that doesn't look too central. Let's see if I can get that a little bit better. Yeah, that looks like that's connected. I do sometimes have problems connecting these. Let's put some on the bottom. There, and one more, one more on the bottom. Whoops, that one didn't double. There we go. And let's put some engines on the best, which is our best engines. Uh, thrust, 200. Yeah, we need, the, we need the thrust. I think we need the thrust. I need the thrust, sir. Right, what's that giving us? Well, let's put these engines in the right position. So uh, these engines go down here. So that's given us 3,200, okay. Not too bad, that's a four stage. Okay, let's, let's um, make them returnable. I think I might put some structuring on here as well because they don't look that stable, to be honest, being so large now. Let's put, what can we do? Well, aerodynamics, does that have an effect? Yeah, a little bit. If anything actually went down. So how about we put uh Okay, double size. Let's let's have a three to yeah, it actually reduced it, but we can get them back. So uh yeah, we'll go for it, we'll go for it. Right, okay, so how about if I put some more rockets on there as a as a preliminary stage? How could what's the best way to do this? Now I could put some here, or I could increase the, the, the let's increase the fuel on this stage first. See if that makes a big difference or not. So where are we at the moment? Three, two. So if I put that there and that on top, three, three. Mm, it didn't make that much difference really. We've got enough to get into orbit according to this, but I want more than orbit. I want um, orbit plus so we should be getting this to about um, uh, four and a half five and a half thousand I would like something like that so okay let's try a another stage let's put an earlier an earlier stage in here there we go I'll get a another liquid rocket stage or let's just try let's try something else how about solid rockets I'm not happy that I can't get it to connect to that 
that connector. Come on, come on, connect, connect. Um, oh, I did quite, quite, yeah, five two. That's not bad. That's not bad. Um, might need more than that though. I'm thinking. Is that connected to that, or is that? So, sometimes I'm not sure whether it actually does connect them correctly. Yeah, that looks like it. That has grabbed that. Although, uh, that's even better. Yeah, that's definitely grabbed it. Okay. Sometimes I'm, I'm worried that it doesn't. Uh, oh, that seems to have gone down again now. I've gone to free free instead uh, okay well, okay our, all our staging's a little bit got a little bit skew whiffed okay let's just uh, get those up there where's where's this parachute what's this pa oh okay you're up there as well uh, you're that one there okay these are going down here and this stage is Oops, we're going to go add a stage in here and put them in there. That's for these boosters. Yep, okay, that's cool. 5-2. Uh, uh, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. We're a little bit shy of where I wanted, um, but not badly shy. Only a little shy so to speak um, is there anything we can do aerodynamically to help I think this is like gonna be pissing in the wind really it's gonna have no real effect whatsoever yeah yeah that's just like just pointless how about these these co those cones I don't I'm not sure if those cones have you know they're good for looks but they have no effect whatsoever okay um, other possibility is what if we put some more boosters in here so we double up on these boosters five five okay we're at the level we want I don't like that but let's let's, let's give this a bit of structural integrity so we go from there to there, and then on this side, we're going to go from there to there. And at the bottom, we'll go from there to there. Okay, uh, it's, it's, this is ugly. This is pig ugly, but it might work. We'll see, we're, this, this, this might work. So we're going to do that, we'll release these boosters that should release all of them yeah they're definitely on that then we go liquid and then we release them and all of them okay then this final stage it's released doesn't have any um parachutes well if we put some parachutes on there there's a chance it might save the engine how much is a parachute 400 it's worth it just for just just in case it saves the engine we might as well put it on there there we go and we just need to put that at the right point that's in there isn't it yeah where did it just put it just put it there move that up to there yeah releases and puts the parachutes down okay yeah don't like the looks of those rockets at the bottom but i haven't really tried these boosters before so and it's just to give us a little bit of an initial oomph right, let's just make sure all everything fires yep gets us out into the out uh, release the solid boosters as soon as they're done and then these and then this one and then final burn into space okay I need to definitely need some um, uh, structural support on this so we'll put some here and we'll must we put some uh, 
on this as well. That should that should hold us in place for launch. Okay, like that. So this is the five-ton launcher. So we call this a K5. Kerbal five. Kerbal five launcher number one. Save. Okay, who are we going to put into this? Who's going to go up there? Bill? No, no, no. We, we think we'll send Valentina up. She needs a bit of experience, and she's our plucky um, test pilot. Let's make sure our height is enough. We're at thirty-four point seven, and we have a maximum of thirty-six. So, whew, that's a little close. Um, this could come down a little bit. Does that make a difference? Yes, it does actually. I haven't gone into the ground. No, that's close enough. Okay, let's save this. Uh, let's make, make sure our staging is correct. Oh, yeah, yep, yeah, that's not correct. Let's put this into the right area. Up there, please. Everything launches at the start and goes for it. It's not a doubt. I don't want to have to press buttons more than once. Okay, let's give us a launch. See what happens. Whew. Only a little bit worried about this. We could lose another Kerbinol, but... Okay, well, it survived uh, being put on the launch pad. Now, I'm going to be a bit careful with this because uh, it's not very stable. So I'm going to mainly go straight up at first until I'm sure of how stable this is. Right, we're going to put SAS on. I'm going to go straight for orbital type of velocity. Now, one other thing is we need to find out where Bob is. Bob is here. So, um, oh, got that one. We can well, get that later. Um, Bob's here. So let's just... If we go for a high orbit, let's just get Bob a little closer before we uh, take off, because we don't have to be doing any more, use any more fuel than we have to. So that should be fine. By the time we get up there, I think Bob will be just about in over the top of us. Okay, okay, Valentina, are you ready to go and see Bob? Or that's the aim. Last check of the uh, uh, staging. Engines, boosters. Uh, yeah, release the boosters, they don't have parachutes. Release the sec third, second stages and uh, they parachute. Release the third stage, parachute, and then we're on our last stage. Okay, throttle to maximum. Are we ready, Valentina? Three, two, one. Okay, we've got some reasonable velocity. It's holding steady. I'm not moving anything at the moment. Solid fuel's going. Speed's increasing quite fast. I'm going to pull down on my liquid for the moment. Just a little bit. Solid fuel is almost up. Could possibly even reduce the percentage of liquid fuel at 300 and 5,000. Not turning as I normally would. I want to get rid of these solid fuels first. Releasing the solid fuels. Right, going to full power. I'm giving it a little turn now. Let's just see how stable this is. That's enough. Oi, that's not. Yeah, you can see the flexing now. I mean, I'm having to be very careful with this. Not much turn at all. We're just going to let go there and let it do its thing. We're not going to try and turn this too much, I don't think. We're just going to have to go for what we can on a straight orbit and turn, which is not an ideal orbit. might be able to put some structural 
integrity into this center section. Right, going for a bit more turn slowly over. We're gaining, we've got a 43k, we're up reasonable. We've still got fuel in our second stage. So we're going to go for orbital. How's our position compared to Bob? We're right underneath him, so we're going to have to go for a low orbit, I think. Okay, we're going to going over now to try and maintain a about 80k. That's about 80k, going about horizontal now, just a little bit up, just to ensure we hold this as long as possible without going down. That's not too bad, too bad, we're going a little high on our apoapsis, right, that's that stage done, released. We're now on the main orbital burn. See if I can keep it going. Let's see how it is. That's increasing quite nicely. It's not too bad. That's not too bad. Our time to apoapsis is decreasing slightly, which is a good sign. Height-wise, we're a little high, but not too bad. Fuel, we're okay. Our periapsis, though, is not increasing. I'm going to hold off on that for a moment. I'm going to wait until we're a bit closer to our apoapsis, and then give it another full burn when we're a little closer. Uh, I can actually use a manoeuvre node quickly. Add maneuver node, what burn do I need to give to get us into an orbit? Let's just go for something like that. Uh, get us onto the right element like that. Let's go for that for the moment. Okay, so let's aim at that maneuver point. Oh, this is a bit slow. Talk about slow reactions. And this is going to be a big burn, putting the burn on now. There we go, it's better with that once the... Periapsis is coming back up. Still got a lot uh, of burning to do. We might have to go into the second stage. We'll see how that works. We've got 400 meters a second left. Still on this stage at the moment. Our periapsis is still increasing, which is good. Waiting for this stage to come off. Nearly lose all the liquid. Well, yeah, we've got a positive. Okay, we have positive. Let's get this next stage up and running. Right, okay, holding it there. Little low on the periapsis because I want to now look at, but we're in orbit, which is cool. That's cool. We got this up. Um, which A is surprising and we've got plenty of fuel for after getting orbit so now we've got to look at rendezvous so first thing we've got to do is set here as a target you see how it's now gone red and yellow so now what we can do is we can look at for, we're looking for ascending node target position so intersects right so we intersect here at this point and at that point he is in front of us by 164 kilometers so that means we've actually got to um, 
speed up a little bit. So what we're going to do, what's our apoapsis? Our periapsis is lower, which is cool, because um, that means we're going to be going faster than him. But what we might try and do is just try and get our, at this intersect point, we'll try and even up our um, tra trajectories, our orbits. Oop, can't see that very well because of the engineer. Let's move the engineer out of the way. So let's just see if we can. There we go. Up. We need to get this onto the yellow one. Let's move that roughly up on there and our periapsis 98, apoapsis 99. Okay, that's the thing. We need to go a little bit though on here. And we're intersecting there. If we do that, we'll get a second intercept here at 5.1 kilometers. So, yeah, that's going to be a good. Um, one so we're just enough pulling us in so that on our, on our orbit around we should get a good in second intersect here intercept uh, and our own let's just make sure we're not going to suddenly hit atmosphere our periapsis is 65 so that's fine that 65 is just speeds us up around um, let's see if there's anything how close where where are we out if I look at this where where is it out okay i'm going to go with that we'll adjust it at the other end after we've done this maneuver so first things we need to do let's just check our fuel and everything right is we have some control now even without jets because of the inline wheel which is cool so let's move up aim at our maneuver mode now it needs seven seconds so that's not too bad in a minute's time so let's keep that pointed there excellent uh, I might just rotate this so I can have a little bit of so it's where I think so earth is down so that way around like that seems good to me it's more akin to where we actually are and the way I'm looking at this so it gives me a better idea. Okay, let's zoom up a little bit to this point because obviously it's only a second, seven second burn. Now I'm gonna do it about half power. So I'm gonna do it when I've got about s about seven seconds to go. I'm gonna use the shift as a control key rather than the uh, going full power. Just to give myself a little bit more control. So, all right. Eight, seven. There, and then when we get to about halfway, I'm gonna start to bring it down again. Okay, let's have. Uh, let's take that one off. That's that's not bad. That's not bad. Let's see what that's done to our next intersect. 4.3 kilometers that's not bad at all so now what we can do just to give that a little tweak tweak uh, although that's damn close actually I'm not gonna get much better than that uh, what I might do is get to that four kilometer point and then eyeball it from there so let's let's head round on uh, get a bit of speed up a bit of time warp see you See, we're going to catch up with Bob on this section here because we're going to go in. Now, one thing I've got to be careful of, we're close to hitting a bit of atmosphere. That might just slow us up a little bit. And we might just have to, yeah, might just have to modify it a little bit because we're in atmosphere. It's taken us down a little bit. Okay. 
so we're getting a little bit of aero braking here I can only go at four times um, speed through this section so let's just let it go through so we're already down to 65 what's that doing to our our intersects yeah that's that's altered our intersects a fair bit so what we're going to do is put a maneuver node in here and a maneuver okay so we're going to just give ourselves a slight little burn or oh, 1.3k Oh yes, if I can get this right, that's gonna be flipping superb. We might be able to do it in one rendezvous. That would be uh, impressive. Right, let's get ourselves turned correctly for this. And it's hardly a burn at all. So I'm gonna use just a little bit of shift and such in eight seconds time. Ah, bollocks. Hit the wrong button. It didn't shut down quick enough. Okay, what's that done to our intersect? Oh, it's still 1.3. Okay, that's not too bad. Let's see, that might just come out a little bit as we get a little closer. Let's get some speed up here. Get into the time warp. I think I'm in um, altitude, so we can't. So Bob's just in front of us. I don't think we can see him at the moment. So we 32 kilometers, 32,000 kilometers away. Oh no, 69 kilometers away. All right, that's at four. Can't go any faster than four at the moment, which is fine. So we've got the periapsis. So our down descending node, I'm not sure, I think the descending node, you've got an ascending node and a descending node. Um, and I think that's based upon our angle out on our plane where the high point is like the apoepsis and periapsis but on the, the um, planal side of our uh, system of our uh, thing let's get rid of that maneuver node I don't need that anymore right 1.3k that's still quite good let's see if we can no still we're still at too lower height or two higher heights, wherever, whichever way you want to look at it. So I can only get four times. I don't like using the warp two feature. I know that is there, but I want to see what's happening as I go around. So I need, might need to make an adjustment before I get there. Like, for instance, if you'd have used the warp two there, oh, well, it may have taken physics, but you may have not ended up where you thought you were. Then again, you may have, but. If it was to, let's get this right, if it was to change the, what's the word I'm looking for, the physics by using time warp, is that cheating? Theoretically. Because you're, you're hiding what's happening with your ship, sort of thing. Oh, us and Bob are very close now. 14, 40, only 14 kilometres away. Now, how, how close have we actually got to get? Um... Where is this rendezvous, rendezvous, achieve goal, have two different vessels in the orbit of Kerbin within visual range of each other and kill their relative to achieve this goal. Okay, okay, so we've got to be fairly close and not too much of a difference in speed. So this could be quite good. I think we're going to be, are we going to be just in front of him by the time we get there? This is going to be a, a good little uh, rendezvous if I do say so myself. Actually, let's just see if we can let's see if we can see him from here. Is that is that Bob? That's Bob, 6.3 kilometers away. Oh, hello Bob. Right, we're gonna is he done, he's gonna be a little bit so we're gonna get ready. Now I'm gonna have to eyeball some of this. And um, what I mean by that I've just got to work out where I am relative. 
so we don't have to go that way no that's too much that way a bit to basically retrograde and also that way a bit okay let's come off of here and give this a couple of because we just need to get close let's retrograde no actually we need to we're, he's going faster than us I think now let's go this way like that just a tad Woo, this is a big old thing to be turning around right so I reckon we need to go that way just a tad now this is where you've got to be very gentle you don't want to make big moves so now we want to go this way a little bit because you've got to remember these these moves once you've made them they continue to make that directional change you made so let's go up a bit that was quite a large up but I need to I want to be able to see okay we've got to get some speed up so if I just aim for the equator the horizon I should say so that's where he is relative to us just there slightly high although he's going down let's try and kill that height All right let's go a little burn here see if we can get okay that's good now let's burn towards him a little bit and up slightly not bad not bad that should be good I think I need a little bit more because he's just getting slightly in, in front okay we're within a K of each other that's not bad, not bad. I think I need, I need to kill the horizontal and get ready to kill some of this closing speed. I think, yep, we have achieved our goal. Let's just see how we can do though on here. Um, we've got plenty of fuel to play with. I don't want to actually collide with him because that would be a bad end to the mission. Let's see if we can kill that velocity. All right, we're now gaining on him, so we've got to have to flip over. So basically it was get within a K, which is not bad for considering the size of this vehicle as well. And now it's just a matter of, you just got, as I say, just, just take it easy. Don't go maximum throttle all the time on this. Oops, I did a spin, which has put me, put me right off. There we go. Where was he? Let's see if we can get a little closer to him. Got to predict where he's going to be. So about there. Let's give up a little burst there. 140 meters. That's not bad. Not bad at all. 
90 meters, 80 meters. Considering we're just using a Terrier thruster on such a big ship, yes, we got visual, we can see the ship. 50 meters, that's not bad at all, if I do say so myself. For eyeballing it, that's the first time I've done a rendezvous. So uh, I'm happy with that. Okay, let's um, uh, now get back into space, basically. Um, so basically we aim, we're going to basically try and land. We will stop using uh, Bob as a target. So we unset target. So now we're back to our normal. Let's see, where are we going to land? We're going to land here. Now let's try, let's try a landing. So what we need to do is, a way of doing it is, let's find the 50% mark, okay, there, and maneuver. Okay, so the thing we want to do is move our periapsis around. So it's over the target at about 40k. Yeah, that's not bad. That's going to be a little bit a little bit over let's just see so I want to get 40k this is my new one just a little bit before our target um, about that much I think that might be okay now I can just no that's the wrong one let's just pull that around just a tad out there Okay, let's go for that, which is just a sort of, oh no, I'm going to the wrong place, but uh, our actual target's there, isn't it? There we go. There's our launch pad. So let's just give that a little bit more of a tweak. Whoops, that's the wrong one. So that's, let's see where we land. It should land us in the water, not far over, he somewhere about over here, I'm predicting. So let's, let's see how that goes. Um, let's go from this view yes and then then I'll come back and get Bob afterwards so luckily we have enough fuel so oops I need to not go at my retrograde could just burn this retrograde but I'm also using this then as a an opportunity to um, test landing you know spot landing this is not easy to control, let's, let's, let's put it this way, with such a big item that inline is doing it okay, those reaction wheels, but it's a bit bloody big, let's put it that way. It's not easy to control. Right, we've got an eight second burn, so we're going to do it four seconds before the item. Let's go round. Right, let's make sure we have electricity. Yeah, we have electricity, although it's coming down because we're out of the sunlight using those reaction wheels in the dark side did use a lot of um, electricity but once we're back into sunlight we should be all right let's give it a little bit more speed let's get that shouldn't affect us too much we'll stop it a minute before actual intercept just so that I can, we're about 30 seconds, so I can just get us lined up. Uh, you can see our electricity up in the top is increasing again. So we're obviously uh, back into sunlight. We can, yep, yeah, we're in the sunlight and putting the pads on that bit worked quite nicely. Um, oh, nearly went over again. Oh, bollocks. Excuse my language, but that just annoys the crap out of me whenever I do that. Oh dear, okay. We'll see where we're gonna end up. Let's see, where did that actually put us? Our, uh, our periapsis is 42. Uh, yeah, not quite where I wanted. Let's just... Yeah, not quite where I wanted. Oh well, let's just go out that way a little bit let's 
see that's moving our periapsis around move that over that's fine and then just give it a little bit this way to put it to the 40 so again eyeballing this rather than doing it properly that, hey, hey ho that's what you get for mucking it up not watching your zone so I want to get up to back up to about 40 there we go so that's 40 just above the target at that point okay we'll see where that lands us so that's just a little bit above yeah just a little bit beforehand so we'll see where that where that actually does land us okay so we're aiming at our uh, we're aiming at the the retrograde that'll be the best place we'll just make sure we've got plenty of fuel left whoops that got a little out of control let's uh, put my stabilization on back on shall i Got a little unstable there. Let's just let Valentina. Okay, Valentina, stabilise us there, please. Can you stabilise us there? Thank you very much. Right. What we'll do is we will. Are we definitely on a downward? We don't need to make any more adjustments. Uh, no, I think we let, we did it at the right point. Not to make any more adjustments now because this will be moving slightly as we as we uh, hit. Um, the atmosphere so we don't need to adjust it anymore if we would start to counter the aero braking so we don't want to do that so basically let's just we're definitely landing so let's eject that portion now we'll just send it off in front of us and that should land somewhere near the center as well for recovery it's got no um, ejectors uh, not ejectors is the wrong word but uh, uh, parachutes but I don't think it will need it right we'll put ourselves on atmospheric return what I mean by that is I've taken off the stabilization uh, let's, try it. let's wait until we're into in thing so that it will just sort itself out it will just land naturally right let's get a bit of speed up until we hit atmosphere Come on. And we still, yeah, yeah, we're, we're still on target. On target. Oh, yep, yeah, we hit atmosphere, so we're starting to hit atmosphere now. Let's get ourselves lined up so that our heat shield is going to take the brunt of everything that's going down as we go down. As we don't want to not, we've got a heat shield, we might as well use it. Alright, we'll take the stabilization off and we haven't landed this before, I don't think, not uh, properly. So we've got to see how this is works. Is this going to be suitable? Oh, I'm going to put the stabilisation back on for the moment until we start hitting more atmosphere. Now, our, this should be starting to go... Yes, it's already gone down. You can see it's gone down to 39 now. And at some point it's going to hit and then we'll get to actually a ground point and I'm hoping I've got this right by getting the 40 roughly over our target or just a bit before our target I could be well out on this and it could be have to be the other side of the uh, ruddy planet but we're going to find out Fifty five K should be starting to hit atmosphere now, about fifty K I think. We'll start to hit start starting to see some flame anytime soon. There we go. Right, taking off the stabilization so it sorts itself out. Bringing down the that to zero. Let's see where the map is now. Our periapsis has moved considerably that way but I'm expecting it to very quickly come back round again 
um, let's see what 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 actually happens so by setting it at 40 at the there I don't know it, it, we'll see how that let's we'll see how it works we'll see see how close I am to uh, being right basically it was a thought based upon what we'd done previously and I had had something about putting it 90 degrees of ahead of the pointed we want to uh, uh, land on but yeah So I could be wrong. I could be out by 90 degrees, um, and 90 de but 90 degrees would be actually where we are now. So I don't think we are actually out by too much. Although it's land, it's gone onto the land now. You can see it has landed. So I think we are going to be early, a bit. Yeah, it's a little early. We'll see where we actually do land, and then I'll, I'm going to take a a guesstimate once we do actually land as to what value it should be at. Okay we're getting a little bit of heat on the goo containers because we're rocking around a little bit. Let's put some stabilization in there. Let's get Valentina just to hold that position a little bit better. That's working. The heat shield is working. We seem to be coming in quite nicely. Taking off the stabilization off again. I just want to let it, to, let it sort, of sort itself out. We haven't got anything that will dramatically blow up, hopefully. Uh, what is it that's it's there? Is it the goo container? I think it's the goo container. That's fine. That's fine. The, the goo container is not a, not critical. Not critical. Let's see where our our map is. See everything. Okay, so we're a little bit out on that. So yeah, our forty point was there. So maybe looking at this, maybe fifty k. We'll try fifty k next time. it's very rapidly descending at this point I think 50k is just when we started to hit atmosphere um, that still wouldn't have been over the point we wanted but that there would have been yeah about the 50k point I reckon uh, 45k let's just let's say 45k we're gonna try to be a bit more um, accurate as such 45 to 50 right let's just make sure I'm not landing okay it's getting a little warm that goo container but it's surviving it's holding stable um, without needing to if I roll it is that gonna help any not really we've got one goo container which is slightly hotter than the other side yeah Everything else seems to be stable, no blowing up. I'll disable that temperature gauge for the moment. Okay, excellent. All right, so we'll just get also under 200. I'll deploy the uh, uh, parachutes. Don't like deploying them above 200, just there. Ah, we just lost all our, our um, uh, chutes because of heat. Oh, f oh dear, um, we just lost everything due to heat. Did I, I need to let it cool down? Uh, okay, sorry Valentina. Um, I've just killed one of our astronauts. Uh, but that's a test that we have to watch out for the heat on these. They obviously failed due to heat um, for some reason ah! oh dear 
Uh, that's not a thing. Now we don't do that. I'm just going to go back to the tracking station. And oh dear, we seem to have lost Valentina. Everything else was perfect except we lost Valentina. I can't believe we did that. That is so disappointing. So disappointing. Oh. Sorry, Valentina. You were one of our best test pilots there. I'm so sorry. Um, let's try not to lose Bob. Um, that's... Oh, I'm, I'm so disappointed now. I'm really, really disappointed. Um, really am. Yeah, um, we lost, we lost Valentina. That's just amazingly disappointing. Um, oh, oh well, we're going to have to, we've got to continue on. We have to continue on um, and just... get Bob down so sorry Valentina you did your bit you did the what you were supposed to do which is test the system and the system let you down those uh, parachutes was it me too early with the with the heat or is this a thing with this the new patch um, I don't know but um, yeah uh, I'm very disappointed we lost you there I'm sorry it, it happened Right, 45 over the target. We'll go with that. Um, yes, so rest in peace, Valentina. You will be sorely missed. Um, it was... I would like to, I'd like to say it wasn't my fault, but it most probably was my fault. I most probably did something horrendously wrong, and I do apologise. And to, to everybody in turn, but that is test flying. Something went wrong. That is part of test flights. I could have done it without a, a, a Kerbal on board, and that may have been the thing to do. So, sorry, Valentina. We, um, I am so sorry about that. But uh, the only good thing is we did get contracts, which got us um, quite a bit of money in. But uh, so we'll we will replace Valentina, unfortunately, with somebody else. Um, Although no one will actually replace Valentina because she was our ace uh, plane flyer. Uh, so, uh, but we'll be sorely missed. 46 meters a second burn required here. This is quite a fast rocket. Um, so I think it's only going to be about three seconds of burn required. Let's get Bob down. Let's get Bob down. Now, Bob is, Bob is our priority now. I'm, I'm still upset at myself and um, everything else involved um, over the loss of Valentina and that will be yeah I, I, I don't know what to say I was hoping Valentina would make that and get the experience oh dear yes you can tell I'm, I'm, I'm ups upset about losing a, a character in a um, computer game how how strange um but it was my fault it's it's you get emotional about this i i i was just rooting for valentina there all right let's let's, let's get bob down bob is bob is our other person he's not a pilot um but this is our our second person we've lost right okay let's see how this is going to be i reckon about four seconds of uh burn Let's see how that's left us. 46k, let's give it a little bit more. It was slightly short. Uh, okay, let's give a pair, 
a little bit the other way. See if that's a tonight. Okay, that's 38 just in front. Let's see how that does. Uh, I'm not going to make any other changes. Uh, we're going to hope that uh, Bob doesn't have the same fate. All right, we'll get rid of the pod now. There we go. We're not going to hold. Now, is there any chance that I actually deployed the? Um, shoots while still I'm gonna check the video did I deploy the shoots whilst in re-entry so I'm gonna make sure this doesn't was there did I do a double sort of um, spacebar incident basically could that be what happened there Right, we're going to get down to 50k. Right, let's, let's turn ourselves a little bit towards there because we don't want the same happening here with Bob. Do we, Bob? No, Bob's going to Bob's going to be okay. Not two resting pieces in one video would be bad. I can't believe a perfect rendezvous. Everything was going right with the rendezvous and everything else like that, and uh, we lose them on re-entry. Uh, very disappointing. Very, very disappointing. And uh, you know, we'd be grounded at the moment if it wasn't for the fact we have to get Bob down. We would have been grounded by now. But uh, the plucky Kerbinauts are doing their thing. Okay. So it could be something on the new patch, etc., was I, that I need to allow for that I haven't taken into account so far. Um, I, I'm not sure if that's true or not. All right, let's let's try and get everything lined up here. There we go. So I want to be careful on this one now. I don't want to muck this one up as well whoops that's not looking good let's get that back in again so more more attention to detail required at times by looks of it something in the new patch has made this well yeah they are thing hopefully it wasn't a matter of I'd already deployed the shoots and our staging was wrong um, I'm sure they hadn't deployed as part of uh, when it uh, ejected the previous stage. If it had, then that's the problem. And uh, sorry, that's obviously an attention to detail when we were setting up the staging that I did not see. Um, right, let's just see where how our, our landing is looking. Uh, I think we're gonna be a little short again. Yeah, a little short again. So that is nearer 50k than 40k then. Let's just go to without the stabilisation, see if this will sort itself out. Now this, this particular module we've landed before without any real problems. So, uh, you know, we know it is capable of landing on its own without any issues. So if, this, if Bob has a problem, then it's got to be patch related. Uh, normally we just leave it on here zoom up the, the time and it lands without a problem getting some heating but nothing disastrous we still have our parachutes available so 
so we haven't got the same problem that we had with Valentina let's see where we've ended up yeah ended up well short okay well uh, it's it's roughly the right area not really we'll work on that so not 45 let's try about 50k above the target then next time well we will work out what is the right um, area to get a good landing right okay we're gonna wait until we get our speed down okay I'll not touch the space bar yet I wonder if I hit the space bar by accident at some point All right, we're down to 5,000 because I was pretty high up but I might maybe I saw something wrong 200 4,000 now okay they've gone yellow but they haven't gone red so we should have a successful um, landing okay we'll just put them up to full speed that should be fine without a problem just make sure he does actually extend out there we go So what we need is a memorial position for Valentina. Yes, going on a little too much about that. That one day, it's, 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 it's just a curb and aught, honest. Mm, Valentina. Oh. Right, okay. Such, such pity, but uh, such is life. Okay, let's just make sure we, we've got all of the materials from here. I'm pretty sure we have. Yeah, 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 okay. Right, let's recover, let's, uh, recover the vessel. At least we got Bob back. So Bob's not stranded in space, but Valentina wishes, wishes, wish she was. Well, she's not wishing anything now because she's dead. Uh, and I will have to have a check. Right, we've got a bit of science, which is good. And we've got some parts back. Our funds are up quite a bit. And we got Bob has um, gained some XP after all of that um, time in space. We got some items to recover here and let's just check our space station uh, sorry not space station but this we might have some other bits yep we've got some bits here we can recover which I hadn't before I think everything else is still not recoverable oh we've got something there that's, that's is that recoverable recover yeah so some parts of it must have survived, but unfortunately, Valentina didn't. Ah, okay. The other bits aren't recoverable. So, so we got some bits back from that, but not the pilot. That unfortunately was a bad time. So let's just see how that's uh, done. We've got some signs up to 88, not quite thing. Got some money in, 256. We managed to do that um, orbital so we can now get rid of those and we've got this science data so we can discard that one as well so uh, we'll do a last little check of our um, we're down to the four tourist area and this Sydney I might do that offline that Sydney um, what is our next items to bring some money we've got the explores um, and the orbit the mun um, yeah, they're worth a fair bit actually. Uh, position in polar orbit, that's worth a fair. I'm going to do some some um, uh, satellite ones, I think, because uh, that will be good for money. Uh, let's just see if these ones these ones have got a little bit of time left to take these on. Uh, what well, a suborbital flight of Kerbin. Okay, that's an easy one as well because that's just a suborbitals -orb of uh, Kerbin. So um, we'll take that one possibly. Um, this is Man, Kerbin, Man, Kerbin, Minmus, Man, and Kerbin. Okay, 
potentially and explore the mine. Explore the mine. This one's not dis disappear. We could leave this one um, into the last moment. It's worth a lot of money. But uh, we're going to leave that until we're actually going past the mud. Uh, so I think we'll take this one because it's nice and simple. And this one, that's that never expires. How long is this? Oh, this is worth a lot. When does it expire? And it doesn't expire. Okay, well, we can take these two at the same time. So um, let's see if we can take this one. Oh, no, we're, we're full now. So we've got some, some satellite um, ones to do next, uh, which is fine. Uh, satellite ones, they're relatively easy and they bring the money in and uh, they don't need any pilots. So, okay, so night time here now in uh, Kerbal Space Centre. Ah, hope you enjoyed that or saw what not to do. I will review the uh, video and see what went wrong with Valentina's flight and adjust that ship before we take it up again. Uh, it does seem strange that all four parachutes failed. That means I must have... Um, they somehow got the staging wrong and they somehow got ejected or I pressed the space bore bar too many times something like that something caused them to release before they were ready and that's the reason that that, um, that failed so oh yes never mind eh? anyway hope you enjoyed leave any comments click that like button and I will see you next time for some um, satellites but until then have fun